take two with Tyler Thompson here, as uh, the first one was my fault. He is here for just a weekend at Oswego Speedway, Fast Friday. When it was nice and early, by the way, and what's turned out to be a nice day. Oh, yeah. Got a little haze. Oh, yeah, it's not as sure. hot <laughs> as it's been. He has two wins so far this year, one with a Super, one with a 350 Super. But today, this practice takes on new importance. Tyler, how you doing? Um, I'm doing good. Okay. good. Practice is important because you've never been in this car. Oh, yeah, yep. We actually got this car during the winter, and it's been ever since. We've been working on it. Um, I'm just trying to make sure it's all good. We've actually had Otto doing everything on it. I mean, just to inform us that, you know, it's good because he's one of the best out there. So. Okay. So it's been at his place? Yeah, yep. Okay. Did I see it out there a few months ago then, maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. I think we, I did. Now we had it to the it. shop like two or three times just to do some small stuff with it, but he's been doing like the big majority of everything. Okay. And I'm going to use the exact word you used to describe this car. You said it was a mutt because it's got three different people with hands on it. Yeah, yep. Much, right? And now it's a Hawksby. I mean, it's a Hawksby cage. Um... I think it's a Bodner front end, uh -huh. and then a cloak of rear, so. Okay. I think. And you said Bodner were the last people that went through it, right? Um, I, I think. I honestly don't know. Okay. So how do we know what to do for this first session here? Uh, well, pretty much I'm going to go out there, just make sure everything works. I'm going to take some slow laps, I'm going to pull it in, and then and then if everything's good, I'm just going to send it. All right, so what do we do when we pull in? What kind of stuff are you doing? Why are you pulling in rather than just do a few slow laps and then just slowly open her up? Uh, pretty much just to make sure all the brakes are good and then to see if anything's loose and then, I mean, more importantly, I mean, make sure everything's okay with the motor because it's, yeah. I mean, it's really hard right now to find parts for them, so. Yeah, well, all the, all the fittings, all the hoses, oh, right? Because yeah. these have a subsystem, don't they? Yes. Just like a big block, yeah. So in other words, there's an actual oil cooler and the, and the oil flows through the engine rather than having it all just in a pan. So all that stuff, there's so many different things that could, that could go wrong. So I guess it is worth it to pull it real quick and, all right, nothing's leaking, everything's good, yeah, the gauges yep. are good. And it's just that simple, right? Oh, yeah, yep. Okay, how do we usually do it in an IMSA format with the wing? Are we better, worse, uh, still getting experience? I I honestly like the Isma because I mean you're on the gas a lot. Yeah. And I mean it just kind of suits my racing style. Mm -hmm. You and I were talking beforehand because his younger sister is actually racing and doing quite well actually. Yeah. She'll be at Utica Roman and Slingshot. We we were joking that there's only two kinds of kids when they get started. You told me you were that first kind of kid. And the two kids, by the way, when they first start in a micro, quarter, midget, go-kart, anything, there's the ones that you got to slow down and the ones you got to speed up. You were the first one. You said and by a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Did you wreck a lot of stuff? Uh, I I would say yes. Okay. Um, I don't know. I just always love throttles. So. <laughs> <laughs> so so this first couple soul laps is going to be tough for a guy like you then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I don't really like going slow, but I mean, it's more important in the long run for us. So. Okay. And are we going to stuff a set of tires in quickly too, or no? Uh, yeah. Okay. What's up after this weekend? What's up after this weekend? What's on your schedule the next month or so? Uh, pretty much just run out of Oswego. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm just going to do a Swego. Maybe some Isma shows later in the year. And then maybe some go-kart stuff. Okay. But I think next year I'm going to... I don't know. I think I'm going to go back to dirt for a little really? bit. Really? Yeah. Okay. Out of curiosity, what are they doing in the fuel cell area back there? Uh, they have to add a vent on that they forgot. So. <laughs> is that, what is it now? Um, It's a vent. Oh, okay. Then that's all? And that, yeah. Okay. Little things we don't realize until we get to the track <laughs> yep. sometimes, right? <laughs> well, I hope you have fun. Say hi to everybody for me, and I'll talk to you later on, man. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Doug. Again, remember... ISPA this weekend, Saturday, Oswego Speedway, second ISPA race of the season. It's a combined show with MSS. So get your butts out up here to Oswego and be sure to subscribe.